talk. It has been a lot of shit that happened this past week. So I'm gonna try to cover everything. If I forget something, my bad. But with that being said, let's get right into the shit. So Shot Moss, aka Bow Wow, was arrested this past weekend after an altercation with his woman. It looks like Shorty got the best of Bow Wow. <laughs> That's what it's looking like. And you know his mugshot, it clearly shows it shows like you know some some wounds and you know, some scratches or whatever on him or her. It's not anything, you know. This girl happens to be a uh, Kiyomi. You know she's a wild and out girl, and you know she's trying to get into music too. And their relationship, you know, is featured on Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta uh, on BTV. A lot of people are going up about this. Some people are like, well. Women need to keep their hands to themselves because, you know, niggas gonna hit back and blah, blah, blah. Both of y'all keep y'all fucking hands to yourselves. There are better ways to resolve a conflict or issue besides putting your hands on a person to get them to understand you, my nigga. Like, communicate. Y'all are adults. Communicate. I'm moving on. Next topic. So I was on Twitter and I seen a video of a girl uh, attempting to have a conversation with her mother about, you know, the sexual abuse that she's been dealing with from the mother's boyfriend. But she comes down to this, trying to talk to the mom, and you know, the mom is like, oh, what now, what now, uh, And then she's talking, and then the other daughter pretty much comes out and says it, like, you know, like, you know, your man's been, you know, been touching me. And the mother was like, well, what did you do to make him touch you? I'm like, what the fuck? Are you dead ass? Like, you dead ass? Like, the question should be to the man, bro, why is you touching why are you touching my kid? Like, it should be that. It should never be to the daughter. Like, what did you do to make him touch you? That's like completely asinine. And I just, wow. And then like the mother kept carrying on. Like, he's a good man and he's a good man and, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if he was a good man, he wouldn't be touching your daughter. That, that, that's just what it is. If he was a good man, your daughter wouldn't be coming out saying stuff like this about him. You know what I'm saying? So it should never be like, oh, well, you're doing this and you're doing that and uh, uh, like she's mad at the daughter for her being touched. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? Like, you should be mad at your nigga. You should not be mad at your daughter. Like, that video itself was like a window into, you know, the households where that does happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, the parent decides to date uh, 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 a predator who, you know, pretty much preys on their children. You know what I'm saying? And the parents don't pay no mind. You know why? Because they getting, they getting, they getting taken care of. Their bills getting paid. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that shit is happening. And they completely overlook as to what happens to their kids. They notice it, but they don't want to, you know, escape that, that sense of comfort. And that's really fucked up. Like, I just believe, as a parent, you know, you should always be there to comfort, listen to, protect, and make sure your kids are secure, you know, provide for them in any other way. Like, it, it, it goes more than just financial. Like, you gotta be there. You gotta tap into these kids, like, up here. You gotta make sure they good. You don't know what these kids will do when they're outside of your presence. So, you know, as a parent, be there for your kids. Like, do make sure they're good mentally. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that the daughter is fine. I'm hoping that, you know, she gets the justice that she deserves. And I'm hoping that, you know, People will take action. So the Super Bowl. <laughs> so yeah, the Super Bowl came on on Sunday. Um, I, I honestly didn't watch it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't watch it. I didn't even watch the halftime show. Like it was just, it was just like I wasn't fucking with it this year, and I wasn't fucking with it last year, or the year before last year. I haven't watched the Super. I haven't watched a single NFL game in like a minute. I just really like watching football. Like I, I fucked with it. And like, as I got older, I was just like, I don't know, I just came out of touch with it. And then after the whole shit happened with Cat, that's what made me be like, you know what? Like, nah. 21 Savage, oh shit. They arrested 21 Savage for being an illegal immigrant. He was, he, he's apparently from the UK. And um, he came here in 2005. His visa expired in 2006. But nothing was done. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing was done. And then he had a, a little running with the law in 2014. And now they just captured him. Like, this is the shit I be talking about. Like, <laughs> I'm telling the, the, the people in the fucking system, they wait, they wait, they wait, they wait, they wait, they wait, they wait. They let this slide.
slide, they let that slide, they let that slide, they let that slide. Like, they just let a whole lot of shit slide up until, like, they just feel like it's time to, you know, like, take action. Like, my nigga, like, if, 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 come on, like, it, it took y'all that long to bust him. It took y'all that long to break him in for illegal immigration. And then, like, yo, like, it, it, I'm mad confused. Then, along this 21 shit, people are attacking Demi Lovato too. <laughs> Demi Lovato's on Twitter, and she pretty much, you know, getting kind of some, she was getting some giggles about the situation. And, you know, the black community, they tore her ass up. I just feel like y'all were making jokes about this shit and were carrying it on for a minute. Then, Demi Lovato said something, y'all jumped down her throat. But then I kind of understand what people are saying about the situation and why they attacked her. Because it's like, when that shit happened with her, we was on her side with that. So I feel like she shouldn't really be taken apart in a little hee hee ha ha against, you know, against him. So, yeah, I understand why people are jumping down her throat for that. Because it's like, yeah, like, we was there for you. Why are you trying to diss this nigga? Like, come on, like. Then you got Tommy Lauren who got something to say about the situation. Making jokes about 21 Savage being locked up and getting deported, like. And I'm like, yo, I don't like calling Lil Nali a name. Everybody know that. But however, I make an exception for her. I, I really, 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 really don't like this bitch, bro. Like, I'm tired of her always got something to say about black people. I'm tired of her always trying to tell us how we should handle certain situations. I'm tired of her speaking up, trying to tell black people how to feel. And then along this 21 Savage situation, uh, Chris Brown posted up a, a video, you know, <laughs> he posted up a video pretty much regarding to that, and Offset did not fuck with that at all, so he, he didn't take that too look kindly, so he commented under the video and said, yo, memes ain't funny, lame, damn, then Chris Brown just goes, haywire, bro, this nigga just went ape shit, man, yo, I mean, damn, as a matter of fact, I'm like, yo, where did this come from? But I do remember in 2017, a video dropped of the Migos versus Chris Brown, allegedly. Like, it was like a little altercation between them. So I'm not really that surprised. I mean, like, when it came up, I was like, oh, like, I wonder where this all came from, blah, blah, blah. But I, I know where it came from. Like, them niggas still not spoke with each other from, you know, a while back. So whatever. Andy Smith. So first of all, who don't know, people who don't know about what's been going on with Andy, uh, so Yandy was outside of a Brooklyn prison uh, and was protesting because the men in the prison, it was, like, they was cold as hell. Like, they, they had no heat. They, like, they had no heat. And they was pretty much being treated like shit. Yeah, she went out there and she protested, you know, along with other people. And, you know, she got maced. And, like, forced. Like, and got cooked. And pretty much got pushed. And, and I really appreciated the fact that she took a stance and, you know, pretty much protested for all them people who were in prison. Because, like, dead ass, they treat people in prison like fucking animals. <laughs> they treat them like animals. Like, when you get behind those walls, you have no rights, pretty much. Like, they treat you fucked up. They expose you to a whole lot of shit. They expose you to a whole lot of trauma. A whole lot of unsanitary conditions. They expose you to, you know, a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? And they don't give a, they don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. And all those people who were sitting there, and, and as freezing as it was on the East Coast, bro, recently, that's fucked up. Like for them to be in there with no heat, no nothing, bro. Like that's that that's that's terrible. Uh, game dropped a little snippet of a song that you were working on. And in that snippet, he's talking about his sexual encounters with Kim Kardashian. I meant to talk about this last week, but like I knew like for, for some reason it was something in me telling me like this whole rollout is not finished. So that's why I'm bringing it up now. When I heard that, I was like, yo, why? Like, I'm, I'm like, why? Because like, we know that y'all was a thing. You were very vocal about that. So... Why are you bringing this back to life now? This was years ago. Why are you bringing that back up now? Everybody was pretty much saying like that that that, that was unnecessary. Then uh, <laughs> I'm hearing scuttlebutt that 
he's talking about his sexual encounters with Sen Santana, who happens to be Joe Button's fiance. And my thing with that is like, why? And then his manager puts out a statement pretty much saying like, whoever denies the fact that game messed around with them, there will be videos and tape, there, there will be tapes dropping to prove that game is right. I'm like, nigga, like, come on, like, come on, like, what the fuck, like, is that necessary? Is that really necessary? Like, I, I have an issue with people who do shit like that. Like, I have a, like, first of all, Kim is married and she got kids. Sid is engaged, she's about to get married, and, you know, she's happy with, 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 with little Lexington. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got a little Lexington. And she about to get married soon. I have issue with people who do shit like that. And I got issue with niggas who do shit like that. Because I know a lot of you niggas, a lot of you females who do shit like that. Like, if you say you fuck around with somebody, alright, just leave it at that. You don't gotta drop tapes. You don't gotta do the whole nine. Like, come on, bro. Like, it, it, that's it. It should be over. Like, and then, then y'all be wanting to drop tapes and put them on Snap. And it's like, alright, well, when them niggas sue for fucking uh, uh, revenge porn, you can't be mad. You can't be mad. Like, cause, cause you, you, you did that. You did that. So, that's it. Game, I just, I, I, I don't think that this is the right move for you to be doing, bro. Like, it's just, I don't know. I just don't think that this is the right rollout for your album. And, cause I'm hearing that you are working on the album. And, this is not the right rollout. Game makes good music. We can't take that away from you. Game makes good music. If you actually say this to an old game project, bro. He, 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 he be talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, he be talking. I feel like, as of recently, like, when he put out these projects, there was always him getting into it with somebody. Always. And, you know, it took it took away from the project. You know why? Because niggas is heavy on the brand. Niggas is heavy on the social media. So, before we even hear about you putting out a track, we hearing about you beefing with other niggas. So niggas is not looking for you. They just looking about you beefing with other niggas. Is this, you know what I'm saying? Is this him with, you know, him beefing with people? Him name dropping Kim Sin and talking about Joe and shit. And then last, the last project you dropped, 1992, you the last project that you dropped back like a few years ago, he was beefing with me. So it was like, it took away from it took away from the music. You, everybody was just focusing on you beefing with niggas. It wasn't really focusing on you and your music. So I just feel like you shouldn't be moving like that. I don't feel like games should be moving like that. I feel like he's, he earned, I feel like he earned his stripes in this game. So he shouldn't be moving like that. It's a video of a boy, very battered, very beaten. And, you know, he had like a lot of scratches. Like, I just see like, I just see him battered. You know what I'm saying? And come to find out, th this is what the post read. This is a post on Facebook. Not happy at all. These funky ass schools don't stop the bullying. I'm going to take matters in my own hands and beat the snot out of someone's child. Her son, her son, in this picture, is battered. Battered. Her son is battered in this picture. Because these schools do not step in when it comes to these kids. Shit like this happens all the time. Like, these schools... A kid will report bullying, he like, yo, I'm being picked on, blah, blah, blah. Nothing even happens. Nothing happens. Nobody, nothing happens. There are no precautionary measures. What happens? You talk to the other kid, and then that's it. Like, nah, they just keep doing that shit. Like, I'm, I'm tired of schools not interfering with these kids being bullied. And it fucks them up in the long run. And I don't, I don't think that these schools really grasp onto that. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't really build character. They just they, they, they just let these schools whoever the fuck you want. You sit down at the desk, you take a test, you get the hell out of the class, you move on to the next grade. You build no character. You build no ambition like that. You 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 just you don't. You don't when it comes to these schools. They just allow these kids to get fucked up in the process. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't ever step in when they need to step in. Like they always step in when it's too late. They always wait until the bully gets beat the fuck up and the step in and then they want to penalize the kid, the victim. They want to penalize the victim because he decided to retaliate and beat the bully the fuck up. Then we go up and ask him, like, oh my god, like, you know, it's so bad because you're not supposed to do anything in violence, blah, 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 blah. And then y'all let that shit happen. Y'all let that shit happen. And then when the bully get beat the fuck up, don't want to, like, oh, like, nah, fuck out of here. I'm tired of seeing that shit. So I want to start 
a new segment called Jersey Artist of the Week. I want to really take time to acknowledge and promote, you know, Jersey artists. We got a lot of talent out here. I don't understand why we won't get that much recognition. You know what I'm saying? Like, a few of the most talented people I know are from Jersey, from here. We don't get enough support here. Even we don't even get that support from the people who are here. And then there, I respect the grind. I respect the hustle. And I feel like everybody else should respect the grind, respect the hustle, and respect the time that we put into perfecting our craft. Because it's hard. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to build a name, trying to establish ourselves on some shit. So, like I said, I respect the grind. I respect the hustle. Keep doing what you're doing. I fuck with it. Gotta put Jersey on the map any way I can. You know what I'm saying? Gotta put Jersey on the map any way I can. That's it for today's episode of Mark Talk. I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Jersey support Jersey. Gotta put that out there. Get yeah, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. And yeah, man, I will see y'all next week's episode seven. And that's it. I'm out.